subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days to Lie Alpha 18. So as you guys can see, we're up here on the roof, and that's because I'm busy making my motorcycle. 10 seconds left. <laughs> I actually went on the road over there by that place there. Just at the back, there are two iron nodes that we marked, and it's, I think, there. Yeah, um, there's two nodes over here that we marked, and I went down into just one and got tons of iron. And I'm not even kidding, tons of iron. So here we are cooking up some more iron bars and a ton of forged iron. I should have actually, instead of going for forged iron, go for, uh, gone for the bars. Because I think at the moment we need more bars than anything else. If we're going to defend ourselves from vultures during the horde. Let's just do this. Do this. Okay. So we're going to grab the iron bars. We have forged iron. Now the forged iron I'll actually make myself some more traps with. Iron spikes. And that's just going to help a little bit with the horde. Now the bicycle. Or motorcycle. A <laughs> bicycle. The motorcycle should be done. Let's just see if there's anything else that's been cooking. We actually got a ton of other resources as well, mostly stone. Um, I should actually see if I can put the stone. If I'm not mistaken, we can make sand with stone. Right? Cross stone? Oh, did I not grab it just now? I could have sworn I put it on my belt. Wait, what? What did I just do? Did I not grab it? I could have sworn I grabbed it. Anyways, uh, we're going to put this in here. We're going to make some crash stone. There's 570 more concrete mixes right there. And then as this cooks in, we just need to get back every now and then and see if we can make a few more of these. There's five more for now, which isn't really going to help in the long scheme of things. Or the run of things. So let's just quickly go on from now. Uh, we have two points over here. Remember guys, we wanted to go for intellect because we wanted the crucible to get steel. Now we have a crucible, we can make steel already, so there's no point in going for that further. Grease monkey, I don't think we're going to go for the 4x4 four four though. It's a little bit slow. I know it's more storage space, but it's just a little bit too too big, too bulky. <laughs> Advanced, what's this? Learn to craft shotgun turrets for short range control base defense and power tools such as chainsaws and augers and nail guns. Gain 35% XP from electrical trap kills. I wonder where's the one that you actually get, uh, will I get XP from them dying on my spikes? I'm not sure because I don't see that over here. Gain okay, 20% from electrical trap kills, but there's no electrical traps. So I might just have to see as soon as possible if I can get some electrical traps. Okay, uh, better barter. I know it seems like a waste to some of you, but if we can get better items from the trader, why not? We already have a quest that we need to go do. Strength, mother load. Oh, uh, minus 69. Uh, which one? Which one? This one is gonna craft quality 3 fair tools, but we need tool parts to make these. Incru uh, increase tool damage by 20% and block damage by 60. Ooh, that might be worth it. Although, mother load harvest 40% more from all stone terrain blocks and trees. So, I think in the long run, we need more wood, we need more iron and stuff. So, let's go for those points. Otherwise, I'm never gonna invest uh, points in those. Okay, we're gonna put this over here. I wonder if I'm still going to take damage falling from the small height. Okay, so we need more gas. Definitely more gas. Uh, so, cars that we come across, we need to wrench. And then, spikes. We're busy crafting over here. Just quickly go to the horde base and place a few of these spikes. Okay, so I didn't take any damage for once. Nice. Okay, so at least there are no screamers yet. Or as of yet. As you guys know, last episode we faced a ton of screamers over here. From that thought of more, uh, there were screamers uh, spawning in. Okay, we need to watch out that these blocks don't get destroyed, or the blocks underneath. So I should technically see if we can upgrade those to reinforced. We have the concrete mix, we have a nail gun, so let's just quickly do that. And we can also place the spikes for now, just to help us out a bit. So I think what we're going to do, we'll just place this at an angle so this whole area over here is covered. We also need to upgrade this so the range and everything goes up as well. So the zombies are mostly going to fall down over here. So let's play starting from there. And let's just hope I don't accidentally place on a piece of grass and it falls or something. Because these things are rather expensive. Okay, so running out at the moment. We are crafting more, as you guys can see. But it's going to take a while for those to actually finish crafting. The rest over here is upgraded. Let's just quickly upgrade these blocks as well. This way we know at least the horde base is going to last for day 14. But for day 27, we need to see if we can start making electrical traps as well. I mean, electrical trap kills gives you the XP. That's awesome. 
I just hope it works for the spikes as well. Or at least have the spikes slow them down, and down so much that I can use my Molotovs. Because even if they die from the spikes, when they're on fire, I get XP for that kill. Okay, so the next step, I think, is steel. As you guys can see, I just got 16,000 XP from upgrading like this. So it's definitely worth upgrading these blocks. Okay, cobble upstairs. Ooh, wow. The streamers actually did a number on those. I can't believe they're so damaged. I need to repair those blocks before Horde Night. As you guys know, uh, the this is day 14, so the next night is going to be the Horde Night. Which means that will definitely be next episode. I don't want to do that now and jeopardize the quality of this episode. Okay, so let's just upgrade these. Unfortunately, these will not be reinforced concrete by the Horde. Uh, I should... Oh, that's only 10 blocks worth. Let's just go for the front blocks over here then. It's only 10 blocks worth of concrete mix, so I don't want to waste it. And besides, we need the front to be as strong as possible from zombies. Remember, as soon as the zombies fall and they take too much damage, instead of going through the whole thing over here, they're going to start coming at the base. So the sooner that is all reinforced concrete, the better. Should probably also upgrade these blocks over here a little bit. Ooh, and I ran out. Almost out of that as well yeah okay so i'm just gonna put away uh, this away for now and then we're gonna do that trader quest it's a retrieve the supplies and head to rally point and now with the motorcycle it's gonna be way faster so i can't i can't wait guys it's gonna be so much better now okay iron bars almost forgot i had them on me let's just copy rotation from that and keep on going over here okay so i should technically with these four blocks over here just do this. Let's put it in the corners of here so the voltage can't come from the sides while we're standing over here. They're still going to want to come from the sides over there, but as soon as we have two or three blocks out, they won't be able to get to us. Okay, so we have all the ammo and guns we need for the ward and a few medical supplies over here. Wrench with there. Shotgun. And the turret's going to go where the spikes are right now. Okay, I just want to make sure that all the spikes I have on me are placed. I don't have to worry too much before the horde. I mean, I still have 20 crafting over here, but still. And then we should probably pick up the turret over here. I keep leaving the turret behind. Like, during the night when I was mining, I put it down by the mine, and then I just kept going in between the base and the mine, and I completely forgot that the turret was down there. Okay, so, we need to get... Where is it now? Oh, it's bright again. I hate this. Uh, I think it's going to be right next door, right? No. Oh, we said it's right before the hill. Damn, this is so damn bright. It's right about there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the quest. Just mark on the map and track waypoint. I'm guessing. So it is in that direction, west. These were the nodes I was talking about, guys. There was a node over here. There were two trees over here obscuring the view of, of these two nodes. This node, and then the one I destroyed over here, and this one goes in quite deep. So it actually reaches quite nicely. Just to make sure we are headed in the right direction. It seems so, but for some reason it feels further. Although at least now with the motorcycle, ooh, it's almost empty as well. We need to find a car ASAP. Or at least go for a node or two of... Oil shale. Where can I find oil shale? I should technically mine it down all the way to the bone. But if I see a node on top, I have to go for it. Or at least if I see a car, like this for example, I have to wrench it now. Unfortunately. I can't afford to get to the trader and then be out of gas and have to run it all the way back. And waste all that time, especially during the all day. I want to make sure that at least my motorcycle is completely full of gas. I don't care too much about the Molotovs at the moment because you do have 7, although it's not going to last quite that long. Uh, but for now, 7 is enough, especially since we have so much ammo. We just need to make sure our aiming is on point, so that we don't waste too much. Okay, so unfortunately I left the red tea at the base, but I still have mineral water. I hope the mineral water will help a little bit with the overheating, although I doubt it. I should have seen what I had to sell for the trader. Damn, I completely forgot to look for that. We actually have quite a bit of stuff still in the chest that I can sell, I think. Uh, let's just make sure we have a full tank of gas. And I ran out, so we're definitely not full. Uh, where do we look? Over here, gas. 70. 
Whoa, this thing can t guzzle gas. It's only now at 72%. Damn it. I'm actually so super tempted to go into this first room over here where the safe is and see if I can loot that. And also this pawn shop, I know at the back there is loot. But I'm just afraid that we don't get everything done because I want to get a few trade requests done. And then see if we can still do a little bit to the base defense of the horde base. We need to make sure that we survive this horde. I actually want to see if I can put a few spikes against the base just in case a few of them decide, you know what? Screw the path you set for us, we're going to go for your base directly. Okay, so we should have enough gas now for a motorcycle. I'm not going to loot that post box because otherwise I'll think I looted that building already. So, gas up. Do I still have gas left? Yes. Okay, so that's a good sign. And now we can put the rest of the stuff away. It's nice that we have so much to spare now, actually. Uh, that we can actually put away. I don't think we're going to get a ton of these things anymore. I mostly put away what we don't... We, what we can't stack. But some of this stuff, like for example, iron and... Electrical parts and all that, we can't stack, I know that. It's just to get a little bit more space at the moment. Gotta love the motorcycle. You can see it's actually way faster at climbing. Because you build up all that momentum, you can climb these hills way easier than with a minibike. I just hope that when I climb off a bike like that, it just... Yeah, okay, phew. It doesn't roll down the hill or something, but sometimes the momentum does take the, uh, the things down. It's gonna suck driving all the way up just to go fetch the bike down the stairs. Okay, so which way will be best? Uh, we need to go over there. So right, probably. But let's see if we can actually get mo up this hill a little bit more. It might be beneficial if we can get to the top and have a look of at where we're going. Let's just hope it's not too rocky on this side and we can't get down. And it seems to be a town on the side. Nice. Okay, so it's in the town. Wait, have I discovered this town yet? Wait. No, I didn't. Did I? This is an even newer town. Damn. I'm definitely going to be marking this. Okay, there's iron there. I know I should mark it. But I just want to get this town on the map. So next time I, I actually see it when I need to get uh, in this direction. At least I'll know. Okay, there's a town on this side. Okay, but now it's in the destroyed biome, right? Yeah, this is destroyed biome. Damn. I'll have to watch out for landmines. Luckily, since we're on the motorcycle, we're not, we're not going to take so much damage. But we will still take a substantial amount of damage if we get hit right now. Wait, there's a snake somewhere over here. Where is the sneaky snake? I don't want to go for these zombies just to be surprised by a snake. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, there the snake is. Thank you. Ooh, I still need to look into that skill, right? The one that gives you stamina back. Okay, over 60, so I can do that hit. Thank you. I should dismantle this car now, but since it's in a part of a new town, I'm going to leave it for now. We can always come from back for it, but it seems the drop is right around the corner over there. Wait, 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 wait. Well, I have to clear that. Where is that snake now? I know I saw it somewhere. Oh, there it is. I just don't want to get bitten by a snake just because I keep forgetting about it. Come on. I don't want to use my guns because I'll alert all the zombies in the area. I really thought I hit it just now. Wait, 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 wait. I hear a dog. So let's just do this. Hello. I know I just probably alerted something in the area, but I definitely heard a wolf or something. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, there you are. Hello, hello, hello. They just take care of you so you don't surprise us later on. I definitely saw a dog jumping over here. Wait, what? Where is it now? Please don't tell me. Oh, there it is. Let's just do this. Thank you. Oh, I love the fact that I put the scope on this thing. I actually completely forgot that I put the scope on it. Okay, so as you guys saw, there are those dogs in the area, so we have to watch out for that. These are actually nice to have as bases. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first time I've e ever been in this kind of um, cemetery. I might be mistaken, I just need to see it inside, but I think it's a first. Okay, so, start the quest, find the supplies. 18 meters, not that far away. Okay, so let's just see. Unfortunately, I don't have a suppressor on this yet. Uh, this is not the place I was thinking of, but it's still a nice amount of things that we can loot. I've definitely been in this place before. Um, there's an underneath 
to this place if you go at the other side over there. Really need to watch out that I don't waste too much of my ammo, especially so close to the horde. Hello, spider, hello. Okay, so this gun is really powerful. Just need to make sure that we don't get cornered over here. There's no safe. I think this is the one I used as a base, except it didn't have the concrete walls. Having concrete walls actually helps a ton. Okay, there's zombies in the tower over here, and then there's also underneath to this place. So at least this will be a nice episode to clear this place. Okay, we can dig all of these up because there should be coffins underneath. But I'm not going to waste my time with that now, especially since we're in a hurry for the Horde Knight. If it wasn't for the approaching Horde, I'd definitely look inside. Okay, let's see. Are you going to fall in my head? Hello. Let's just get your attention over here. And like I said, guys, we need to save ammo. So I need to try and fire as little po uh, shots as possible, or a few shots as possible. Hello. Okay, so I think I shot him in the leg. That's why I died so easily. Okay, there's more zombies somewhere in the area. It's just move, 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 move. Where are you? Okay, outside. That's not going to affect me much. Let's just make a few blocks over here. Like so. Okay, this is really bothering me. I hear the footsteps right in my ear. As you guys know, my headset is still a little broken. So it's like the zombies are right next, uh, next to me on the left side. Okay, let's see what's in the roof over here. I didn't actually look in the roof last time. Just now, there's a gun or two that we can actually use. Although it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so we're going to go downstairs. Let's just hope that zombie doesn't corner us or flank us. I actually love the fact that this is concrete all around. If I could, I'd actually use this as a base. But I mean, it's way too big to actually really defend. So let's just keep this gun on us. We want to go through this place as soon as possible or as fast as possible. And get stuff done. Okay, so we need to loot every single thing we come across. Just now, for especially in the coffin, sometimes there is ammo. So that's definitely something we want to look into. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, wow, where did you come from? No, 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 no. Oh, there. I didn't even notice that doorway right there. That could have really screwed me in the end. Oh, crap, he's still alive. Okay, so dead and dead. I really need to watch out for stuff like this. I didn't even notice that he was there. Okay, and that is... Oh, that looks like a double loot. It looks like a backpack and a suitcase. Okay, so let's quickly get through this place. Ammo, thank you. I know there is a secret stash at the end over there, so I need to go through this whole place and make sure... Who knows? Perhaps we find something awesome over there. And also, I'm going to grab all the chairs because we need more fire and wood. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, come on. I hit it when I miss those. That's such an easy shot and then I miss it that easily. And I hate it the most because we are, uh, we're in a hurry. We can't afford to waste so much stamina. Okay, let's just see what's going on there and there. Hello, hello, hello. Please don't tell me. Yep, this one's feral. And a power attack and a swing and a miss. His eyes aren't even red, so I don't understand how you are so fast just now. Okay, while you're down, while you're standing up. Oh, that was a back shot. Damn it. I thought that must be in the face, but you picked up the wrong direction. Okay, come on. There must be more zombies in this area. Remember, guys, since we have a certain skill, I'm not exactly sure which one it is. Zombies don't seem to hear us when we're right next to them. So we could be firing shots and everything, and they don't know we're there. Okay, that's a little messed up. It actually looks like you have to go that way, but there's nothing there. Hello, hello. Where are you? I know there's something so... Oh, there you are. I heard the sound of them breaking stuff before they actually broke it. So I hope the sound is not bad. Okay, they are dead. Make sure nothing's flanking us. And let's just quickly make a little bit of space as well. They're actually running really low in space at the moment, especially since we have those traps on us. Wait, what's that? It sounds like a fatso somewhere waking up. Okay, what's underneath this? 
And a snake. Please don't let a snake come down here. They are so small, it's hard to really kill them. At least we do have our AK on us should we encounter close quarter combat. But hopefully that will not be necessary. Let's just drop these. Not going to waste my time. Okay, so there's a ton of zombies coming down, I think. We need to watch our backs. And now there should still be a ton of zombies in this room over here. There's going to be a ton of sleepers. Unfortunately, I don't have like a bomb or a pipe bomb or anything that I can use. So let's just make sure our gun is fully loaded over here. Hello. Buy a few shots, let them come to us. See, even this one is feral. Unless I just hit her or damaged her so much with that shot just now that she decided, you know what, I'm going to stand up. Although, since this one's also running, I seriously doubt they're normal zombies. I really need to conserve my ammo as much as possible. That's why I'm trying to go for as few shots fired as possible. Okay, there are still so uh, zombies coming. Hopefully, when they come for us, they try and go through the spikes over here. That way, we can actually see them and they get slowed down. I hope they don't follow the path behind us. Okay, so make sure there are no other zombies over here. That was probably unnecessary. Now, we do have... Let's just first make sure we don't have any more skill points. Okay. Can we go for Lucky Lutzer still? Yes. Okay, that's going to come in real handy now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost destroyed the chest or the box. Come on, come on, come on. Pipe bomb. Yes, that's going to come in handy during the horde. The shotgun we can sell. Ooh, bones we need to keep. See, now I'm running short on space again. We don't have enough stone. We have enough lead. The doors we don't use. Although we could use the doors because the zombies path towards them. That's a nice way to get their attention. AK. This is too crap to actually sell like that. So we can actually scrap it for the parts. Although at the moment we are super, super, super encumbered. And it is getting later so we have to hurry up. Okay, that doesn't matter. Ooh, I really need the wood. Okay, let's just see if we can loot anything that can stack pack. Like for example that. They just stack, but I think we just used the slot that we cleared for the... Yep, splint. Okay, so we can keep that. Military parts we keep. Iron shovel. Ooh, this we can actually sell. Let's just grab all of that. Nothing on top. There's still the safe up there we can think about. And then this. Let's just grab that one. Okay, so there's a few things like, for example, the uh, AK I am definitely going to scrap. Let's just stack up to that. I'm going to scrap the AK for the part so we can actually make our own uh, later on. And let's just quickly repair this. So that I can actually get to the safe a lot faster. As you guys know, when the quality goes down, the damage goes down. Or rather, it should work. I don't know if they changed that with Alpha 18 or not. Please, 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 please. And, ooh, this is going to sell for a handsome bunch. Now, let's see. We can scrap that. Weighted head. I need to put that on something that doesn't have anything on yet. Wrench. I think the wrench is too small, isn't it? Weighted head. Oh, no, it's not. Nice. I did not know the wrench could actually take one of those. Now, this we can scrap. That we can grab. Um, let's repair this. Repair this. Repair this. And grab. Now we are encumbered. We don't have any more space. So there's nothing else we can loot, even if I wanted to. Okay, now we have to watch out for zombies who might have come down here for us. Hello, hello, hello. Reload. I wish this gun could reload on its own, but it doesn't seem to want to. I mean, it fired a shot, fired a shot, and then it just stood there. Usually when a gun runs out, it has to reload. It's like the auger. When you're busy using the auger, if you run out of gas, it just stands there. You have to click it again for it to reload. Oh crap, did I just run over a snake? Yep. Okay, so that is too much of a wide range for the shotgun turret, it seems. Okay, so we just got some more meat, which is nice. Now let's quickly go to the trader and hand this in. Let's just hope I can get through this terrain over here. It seems pretty hilly to me. Okay, so we need to go that direction. I suddenly get used, uh, used to reversing with my mouse. For some reason, <laughs> I really struggle to reverse with my mouse. I should technically drop everything that we still need in the bike. That way we know we're not too encumbered. 
Although then at the base when we're sorting stuff, it's gonna take way too long to get everything off of the way. Wait, wait. Have we been here before? Yeah, we were here for a quest. Okay. <laughs> so we were here for a trader quest. We should actually fill up those holes. Because I mean, I just almost drove into that. If I didn't see it, I would have driven into it. So it's definitely worth cl uh, clogging up after you're done. You never know where the next mission is gonna be. Oh crap, I'm gonna get stuck down here. Climb, 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 climb. Really slow, but it is climbing. I just remembered when I was thinking about this just now. <laughs> We're not going to get a better reward from the trader, even though we have better barter. We have to go for the other one for the quest rewards. If I had uh, the stuff in the base that I could okay, sell, then yes, Booker, better barter would be awesome. The shop rules. Okay, so we'll let's see if I can sell a few things first. Mm, we'll space. Oh wait, we have military parts. That's going to stack. Let's grab that. Uh, may I see inventory? Uh, let's just quickly see if we can sell a few things. Yeah. Sell, thank you. AK. Why did I actually repair that? I wanted to scrap it, but I ended up... Okay, I'm still going still gonna to sell it though, because it's on my bar over here. Um, shall that. Why doesn't he want the shotgun? This is the second time now that he doesn't want the shotgun. Okay, on day 16 he resets. I don't know if it's already been a reset or not. Let's just see if he has anything over here that we can actually buy. We only have 1.9 on us. It's going to suck here if he has something awesome here, but we don't have enough cash on us at the moment. All right, right let's now just see. That we're um, done doing business, get out of my this store. One. Repair the scrap armor. And let's just see if there's anything on the bike that we can sell as well. Okay, so there's a ton of engines over here that we can sell. That's 260 a piece. But I think for now we're going to save the engines because later on we're going to need it for the electric power. Especially if we're going to get the XP from those traps. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going to sell this one. Ooh, 421, nice. Uh, wire tool. We have one of those, I think. Door we can scrap because that's way too little to get for that. Shovel we can sell. And I think that's all we're going to sell for now. I don't want to accidentally sell something that I wanted to keep for later on. Okay, and the spikes we need to go put down soon. Okay, uh, let's see what he has for us over here. Ammo? No, 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 we don't need ammo. We actually need these steel tool parts because we need to make ourselves some stool t uh, stool <laughs> steel tools. So I think I'm going to buy these. I uh, know it's 840, but damn. Um, I want to make myself a proper steel fire axe. Because we already use the auger, so there's no point. Unless the auger also requires steel tool parts. But I want to make myself a better steel fire axe. Okay, we already have this one. Steel gloves. That should be better than what I'm using at the moment. You know what, let's just quickly check this out. Yep, light mod and light mod. So I was right, guys. In the beginning of the game, look for crappy quality mining helmets that you can buy from the trader. That will have the mods on. I mean, you can use it just like that. Ooh, let's just buy the generator. You can use the mods just like that, or the head, or you can actually make your own, or get your own helmet, and then just put the mod from that one over to the other one. Cement mixer should probably have one more. Ammo, does he have 762 ammo? I don't see anything. It might be in the secret stash that I just missed. And this over here, machine gun parts, nope. Rifle parts, nope. Motor tool parts, I think I just sold that. I need to make sure that what I sell and what I keep. So I don't accidentally buy stuff back that I just sold the guy. That's going to suck. Okay, I think there was ammo right here, right? But these are AP rounds. Target armor, 20%. Okay, so this is actually way more... Uh, this is for uh, radiators and those tougher zombies. So no now, I'm just going to um, just gonna save my cash. Now Let's just also it, accept a quest from me. Do you have any jobs? East, south, east. East, south, east. See, they uh, they're sending us in directions we haven't been before. So, south, east, east, north, east, south, west, clear zombies. Okay, we're going to accept that one. We're not going to do it right now. Quickly head back to the base and make sure we have everything set up for the ward base. At least we're going to get back to the base incredibly fast with this bike. Make sure we close that so no zombies wandering. It, it must suck if you walk in there and all of a sudden there's a zombie bear that wandered in. I mean, what are the odds of that? But still, that would totally, totally suck. I actually really want to try playing on two-hour in-game days again. But it's just really hard making videos, making content for days that are so long. 
Because sometimes you have to just go out and grind and grind and grind to pass the time so that you can get stuff to do for the next video. And I don't want to do that. I want to be able to make a video and then if we go looting during the night, like for example, um, the next episode will be Horde Night. So we are making, a, I think, a third night video. But that's still feasible compared to two hour days where you get like three, four episodes per day in. So it's going to take forever for you to face a horde on those settings. Especially when you're creating content, you can't do that unless you really just grind it out and wait it out. And that's just a waste of real life time that you could be using to make more videos. I think what I'm going to do is, we're going to put a few spikes over here. And then off camera, before the horde, I'm going to see if I can craft a few more iron bars. There should be a few more. Let's just make sure the fire is on. Actually going a few round trips now. I wanted to stop at the horde base, but let's just first see if this fire is on. If it's not on and cooking, we're wasting time. I think the fire already ran out. Yep, it ran out. See, that was time that could have been used to cook more iron bars and stuff. And more iron into the fire. Uh, let's see, how much is that? Six more. It's not much, but I, th I think let's just make it 20 minutes. Then it's going to cook a nice long time. We don't have to worry about that too much. And now... Let's so quickly get to that horde base and see what we can do over there while we still have the time. I think as the blocks over here dry, I'm going to upgrade them to reinforced concrete. We do have a little bit more concrete mix left. I want to make sure that this is as prepared as we can be for the horde. Uh, spikes over there. Let's just quickly place these. I want to make sure that we are more or less symmetrical when placing these because the zombies can fall either way. So basically, they're going to run either, uh, up either side of this. They're going to run past here and they're going to fall in the spikes over here. So now I can actually go, the dogs might get a little bit further, but now I can go from here, closer to the middle, I can place more spikes. So what I mean by that is up to about here, three out, and then all the way to the connecting spikes over here. I might need to make a few more spikes to make it symmetrical with the other side, but for now this will do. I want to do this on that side, and then we should be set for this horde. This is going to slow the zombies falling down... Um, they're gonna s it's going to slow them down enough just so we can throw a Molotov or two. Remember, you don't want to waste a Molotov, so you want to throw it at large groups of zombies. And what, a what better way of doing that than having zombies get stuck together and then throwing the Molotov. But yeah, if you guys liked this episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? What do you guys think about this episode? Did you miss anything? Any tips for my horde base? Anything at all? Leave a comment down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.